Hello guys! Welcome everybody to Mando Monday. This is the series where you guys ask the questions and I, of course, answer them. This can be to do with anything related to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, or now CS2 Investing, or anything current or future update related. If that's the Blast Paris Major, when we're gonna get those stickers, which is now only under one month away, or how to get access to the beta before the full release, something to do with me, or possibly something in the background, leave it down below of this comment section or any other one of my videos, ask Mando, then ask your question. It's usually easiest and best for me to find it that way. As it goes for this week, we have a couple updates around 10 questions and some things regarding a giveaway. Today's video sponsor is Market.csgo. Market.csgo is a buying and selling marketplace for your skins, but most importantly, a peer-to-peer -peer site. So the wait times in between trading, buying, or selling are as low as possible. The marketplace has over 100,000 trades a day and even a built-in tab to find the best deals to make the most amount of profit possible. It also has a built-in client via download or Chrome to make trading very profitable, but most importantly, as safe as possible. Selling is as easy as the click of a button with extremely low fees, that of course being 5%. Definitely one of the best in its field and gives you an edge versus other competition. Once you sell an item, it goes directly to your balance. From there, you can choose to cash out with many different options, many more than other rival sites. Market.csgo is one of the best of its competition. With its low selling fees, scam-proof client, and a large amount of cash out options, I can't recommend this site enough. If interested, it'll be the top of the link in the description below. Let's firstly discuss the giveaway. We got a winner a few days ago. As everyone knows, Steam right now is the most buggy it's probably ever been, with friend requests and mainly trading. I did didn't see that he added me back, so I re-rolled, had a new winner. As of posting this video, the original guy texted me back, so I had to do two giveaways. Now, for those wondering how you enter, how I roll it, all you have to do is comment on the video, leave your Steam ID, try not to leave any links. I have a very restricted filter due to people spamming trade links or just fake ones that result in people getting scammed. First thing I won today was Seki, Seki. You're gonna be winning an M4 NS Nitro and this Glock skin with Copenhagen Flames on it. These are Hollows four times craft that I made a while back for pretty cheap. As it goes for me missing the episode on Monday, it's obvious obviously Wednesday now, I'm going to be giving away this USPS print stream. Now I just bought it, should be tradable in around a week. I'll try to have Mando Monday up on a Monday. I'll add the person in advance, maybe Tuesday. That way on Wednesday, it can go up. I'll feature it in a video. I'll also talk about it the next Mando Monday. So hopefully that makes up for that. Also want to talk about selling my inventory. I've sold a decent chunk in the past few weeks. Now some of this is for a video idea and the other two parts were needed some money for some real life stuff that's going on. But also I want to do a rebuilding of my inventory. Cashed out quite a few investments, not just for Fiat, but for other skins. I want to switch up the inventory. I've had the same one for a very long time. A lot of the same crafts I've had for the past couple of years that are now very expensive. I'm going to keep those and also give them away. Now going into our very first question, this is from Bot Luke. Hope that wasn't a mean name directed towards me, but he says, do you think the Outsiders Hollow from Antwerp has potential? As of now, they retired the name slash logo and gone back to Virtus Pro. They won the major also under Outsider. I think personally, this is a pretty good question. Not a whole lot of people have been asking, but rather doing. A lot of the market, let alone the sticker market, has seen a lot of corrections the past couple of weeks. As of right now, people People might be offloading some stickers because they don't know what these next Blast Paris Major stickers are actually going to look like. We have some ideas, but those are probably going to affect things like this, at least for the short term of things, and people can buy in at a lower price. If you're holding for the long term, something like this is probably a pretty good idea. Now, as it goes for how I feel about it in game, the hollow effects on a craft, I absolutely hate it. Same thing goes with Movie Star Riders. I do still have a couple. They're just not my favorite sticker. Doesn't mean you can't buy them or like them, and other people won't either. In fact, a lot of the CS market kind of works like that. But just like a lot of other things, just because something is rare doesn't mean you can set whatever price you want for it, especially with something like this. But it is a little different with stickers, especially with Antwerp. They've gone up so much in price long before the announcement of CS2. They're rare. They're hard to get in a capsule. And as you said, they're probably not coming back. The next question up here is from Daniel. And he says, ask Mando, when do you think the Paris major stickers will be released? Thank you. Support from Hong Kong. I appreciate that, my man. Like we discussed at the beginning of the video, I think the most likely possibility is in the next couple of weeks. If they delay it any further, I don't really see why. That would probably worry me a little bit. If you look back to Stockholm 2020, they delayed it actually a decent amount and it got to the point where Valve apparently forgot to add the autographs. They just forgot to get them themselves. That's why they weren't in the game until the very end. Now, the reason I think we're going to get it soon is we have to get that Anubis collection. I sadly don't think there's going to be an operation. I just don't think there's enough resources at this very moment for Valve to be working, patching, fixing Source 2 before the full release in the summer, updates with this major because you know they're going to come with some problems. So I think the Anubis collection with these capsules, souvenir packages and whatnot are all going to be added in the next couple of weeks. Now, our next question up here is from Sipe. Sip? 
I don't, I don't know. Do you think the market hype is going to keep going up? And there's always two sides to every story. And the same thing goes with this answer. Yes and no. The long run of things, absolutely. Right now, it's a little bit shaky. And I've said this in the past. I don't think CS is kind of the investment where you can really play the short term game. Sure, things like with the release of CS2, you definitely could have. But from right now until the full release, we don't know what's going to happen. Things can change. Things have already seen a pretty big correction, like with the sticker market. The Glock Gamma Doppler, specifically the Emerald, jumped from 230, went all the way up to 465, then fell down to 338 almost $100. Same thing goes with the Colbat Disruption. The one bucks went all the way to 91. Now it's back at 73. You kind of see the same thing with some knives, but not as bad. Either some things get nerfed, at least in the CS2 with the new lighting and just better effects with new weapon models. But for the most part, yeah. The only way I would see this really change is if Valve changes the rate cases drop, which I have a couple videos and I believe Jesus just made one today. So I suggest you go check that out if you want a different answer. Our next question up here is regarding major stickers, but not the new ones. They're the older one. Would you sell Stockholm and Antwerp investments to reinvest into Paris if they were borderless. Now, would I personally? No. Would a lot of other people? Yes. And I don't think that would pan out the way they think. We just had this exact situation with Stockholm and Antwerp. Most people thought Antwerp was going to be completely different. I was one of those people. My gosh, we were wrong. A lot of people were really pissed about that, including myself. And I felt like I was one of the very few people to actually voice the problems with it. It was just a lazy, not even redesign, a remaster and a reuse because they didn't sell as well as they hoped in Stockholm. I also think they were probably working on things like CS2 and they also just wanted to make money. You have to look at it that way. So I don't think it's going to happen, but in the case it did or something very similar, the market's going to be in shambles for at least the first few weeks. And then when that 75% off sale hits, it's probably going to get worse. And just like every other major, after the sales concluded, after the update's gone, we're on to the next big thing. If that's a case or operation, market will start to correct. I had a video yesterday talking about these stickers, all the different scenarios. I suggest you go check it out. If they're over-invested, if they're under-invested, they look bad or good. I still think they're going to do good just based on how many people were getting in the game. And this is the last major major for a little under a year. Stockholm and Antwerp though are still really rare. They're still in demand and they're still love. I don't see that changing anytime soon. That's just me. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Our next question up here is from Hayden and he says, do you think the Doppler knives will be the new best thing in CS2? I have a blue gem and want to trade it for a Doppler. So I believe they actually just updated the blue gems in somewhat of the case hardens a little while ago, but I don't think anyone can deny the fact that Dopplers look absolutely amazing alongside fades and some other things as well, like tiger tooths. I'll take the Karamba Doppler for instance. This is a phase four. These things have gone up like crazy. This one, not as much as some other knives, but this one from 987, it's currently 1300. That's a pretty big price increase. As it goes for the next best thing, we're not sure. They've already been nerfed a decent amount. That's why some of the prices went down in some of the graphs we've checked out. A phase three looked like an emerald. They had to change that to some degree. And buying something based off what it looks in CS2, I've talked about before, in my opinion, isn't the best decision because they can change it at any moment. And it's been proven time and time again with a lot of stickers, something like the Doppler as well. But I do think with the better graphics and lighting and just the way they're looking right now. Yeah, they're probably not going to be the worst thing in the world. Our next question up here is from Kevin. Can we get a picture or video of your clone army? Our next question up here is from Fed and he says the best AK M4s and off skins going into CS2. So three weeks ago, I would have said the Sun and Leo because it looked absolutely insane. But just like a lot of the other questions today, things can change. But as it goes for right now, a lot of skins that were really cheap, like this Desert Eagle, the Glock Gamma Doppler, the Emerald, the Twilight Galaxy, I believe that's what it's called for the Glock, the Steel Disruption, I think that's what it's called as well. Things that just look shiny or supposed to be like that in CS that are transferring to CS2 all look very good. And there's still a few probably that people haven't really found out about yet but for the most part i think you've missed that obvious initial hype which if you should buy i'll give you what i'm doing i really want this desert eagle that track factory new i'm probably going to end up buying it going for a blue inventory should you do the same on something like the blue phosphor or something like the op fade which i recently sold because it went up so much i see it as if you play every single day you enjoy your skins and you're going to be playing for the next few months there's going to be more people coming to the game skins are going to be limited that's unless we get an operation and if they're good i'd say go for it just don't put in what you can't afford to lose as it goes for main skins like you asked in your question. I know I just sold mine, but the op fade really isn't that bad of an idea. I'm actually having some regrets myself. They updated it just a few days ago with the new weapon models in CS2. It just looks so much more clean. It looks how I feel like the CSGO version actually should look like. Buying things on a dip that were from operations like the blue phosphor isn't the worst idea in the world either. Skins that are really vibrant, really pop, that you think people are going to want in the future, that have somewhat decreased in value, haven't transferred over to CS2 very well. And what I mean by that, this is somewhat of a gamble and risk. The Prince 
Streams an example, hasn't transferred to CS2 the way I think most people thought it would. That could be an opportunity for you. Our next question up here is from, well, I'm going to call you Spider-Man. Do you think stickers like the Operation Riptide ones will continue to go up in price indefinitely? Or do you think eventually the hype and demand of them will eventually die out and prices will crack? Or will they stay the same? So Riptide stickers have been going a little crazy. The Miami Tier 6, Lowe's, Liquid Fire Hollow, and just the paper sticker itself have all been proven to be pretty successful. They're extremely rare as well. Now, reasons for that, there was a lot of good items in Riptide, and it was actually pretty user-friendly, I would say, at least compared to Shattered Web. You had different groups you could buy into. Most people were focused on the skins, not much the stickers or agents, hence why they're so expensive now. I don't see them remaking anything like this again. We could have some cool, unique stickers with the next operation after the Paris Major or sometime in the middle of the year, which is something you have to consider. But will these go down very much? Probably not. But I think another operation would definitely affect these in some sort of way. Same thing goes with the last question. Don't put in when you can't afford to lose, but you're kind of playing like a CSGO crash type of game on a gambling site here. They're not going to be cut in half immediately when one drops, but you're running the risk of it not going up for a little while at least. It is a little bit risky. The hype and demand for them dying out, I don't really see happening. A lot of the stickers have very unique hollow effects, but to play devil's advocate here, you are seeing more and more stickers through the boardroom capsules, the 10th anniversary, new major stickers, possible future operations that have very similar, if not better, and innovative stickers going forward, especially because now we're in CS2 and not just Go. The capabilities with creating stickers, skins, anything in the game is really limitless. The next question is from Miller. What are your thoughts on holding cases, specifically ones that are open the most frequently? On one hand, things have gone up in such a short period of time that I'm worried that they'll come crashing down just as soon. On the other hand, crazy amounts are being opened, so it's not only investors driving up the price. Hope you have a great day. Thanks, you too, man. So yeah, the case market's pretty crazy. And this has been something that's been happening slowly throughout the past year, or really since December of 2021, I would say that was the turning point for CS, where people were wanting to unbox these faster than we were obtaining them, but the older previous ones that people had in their inventories as investments or just to keep bought accounts, you get the point. Those are now, in my opinion, at least all on the market now, at least the majority of them. Then that wasn't the case. No puns intended. There were 40 million unboxed last month at 1.5 billion players. The month before that, I believe it was 29. And with the full release, you can only imagine it's going to go up. Now, the only problems with that is the drop system and how Valve lets you get drops every week. It's gone from you getting maybe one case a week in the active duty pool or not to let's just say they change it to three. That would really mess things up. And then you got to think about it too, where if the CS player count starts to fall off, we're going to have more cases than people are able to open. And that's going to drop the prices indefinitely more than it would at the beginning. So I don't think Valve is going to change anything, but I wouldn't completely leave it out of the picture because they've done things like this in the past. Definitely stay away from the active duty cases. As much as they go up, they can also come down just as quickly, let alone any CS item. So let me know what you guys think about that one down below. That kind of wraps up Mando Monday today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. A lot of juicy questions, mainly for investing. Hopefully we get these Paris major stickers soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out guys. Peace.